no time to wait it out We've gotta cross this bridge Or we will watch it burn The first step will be The hardest one that we will take Hi guys, it's Katie And I'm sitting on my floor to film this video for you guys Because, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it Like I just pulled my table in front of my window Because the lighting's pretty good right now Like I don't know what time it is I think it's like 4 o'clock or something But I literally have been in my pajamas for most of the day I woke up at 12.30 because we had a very late night last night. We stayed at my cousin's house till like 1 in the morning. Okay, maybe not 1, maybe like 12.30. I woke up and the sun was like streaming in my room. And I can tell like what time it is just by how much sun is in my room. Like, I don't know, it's just a weird thing. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul for you guys today. I've never really been one to like the whole atmosphere of hauls because I think it's wrong to sit in front of the camera and show everyone else like what you got and like provoke jealousy. I don't know. I've never been one to want to film a haul every time I go shopping, but I mean, they're so fun to watch. I mean, I, I love watching hauls. I like basically live for watching hauls. So I decided just to film this Christmas haul for you guys, and it's not everything I got. I just picked out a few things that I was really excited about getting. I mean, like, not really like the only things I was excited about, but like particularly excited to show you guys because I... I don't know, you guys might be considering buying them or things like that. My parents literally, I feel so bad for them because I am such an awful daughter. I literally only told them one thing I wanted this year. Um, like, I just told them I want this lens, 250mm lens, and that's all I wanted. They literally had to pry me to give them more ideas of things I wanted, and I just, I don't know, like, I feel like I have enough. I mean, I don't have everything that I've ever wanted, but I just have enough to satisfy me I don't know I just that's just how I feel like I feel like I am economically stable myself like I have I have three jobs that I could buy in my own things if I really really need it um, notice how I said need not want I mean sometimes I do have some things I really want that like you know perk my interest but this year this is the only thing I really wanted along with an external hard drive which is really boring so that's sitting downstairs but I got a ter terabyte I always want to say terabyte because there's a YouTube channel on here called terabyte but it's a terabyte it has so much space on there because recently I have been having trouble with my computer not having enough space because I have so many videos that was a real lifesaver for me to have an external hard drive back to the lens this is the 250 millimeter lens by Canon and I I have a Canon C3i, Canon Rebel C3i, and I'm actually using it right now. And the lens I'm using is the 58mm, um, so it's the standard lens. But this one is the huge one um, that I mainly got so I can take pictures at sports games, like get up there, because I'm the photo editor for my newspaper at my school, and I decided that it'd be fun for me to actually be able to take pictures of like the sweat dripping down their necks. I don't know, like something cool like that. I thought it'd just be a really great investment for me to get this lens, and look how far out it goes. Like that is huge. I mean, not really very huge, like in camera terms. For a beginner photographer like myself, this is great, and I just have been looking forward to this all winter, like all winter. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm not filming on it right now, and the reason is is because it's so close up that I like could literally have to. S oh, my dad's calling me. Hello. Katie. Yeah. Check your picture. We've got a soprano uh, ukulele. Yeah, I just want a brown one. Okay, cool. We'll take it. Okay, so, cool. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks. Bye. My dad just bought me a ukulele. Oh. I, my sister got a ukulele for Christmas, and I've just been watching her, like, playing with it. I'm so jealous, so I, I went out and got a ukulele. Well, I picked it out, and he is going to get it for me because I wanted to film this video before the light is totally gone. So, thank you, Daddy, and he bought me this ukulele. It, I think he, he said he sent me a picture of it. Um, I don't know how to check my... I'm still really new to this iPhone, which I also got for Christmas, but I didn't want it. I didn't want it, guys. They forced it upon me. No, just kidding. My parents just bought it for me and didn't even care that I wanted it or not, which, I mean, is totally selfish. I'm totally being sarcastic. I love it. Um, but I, am, like, ha literally have no idea how to do anything on here. Um, I don't even know how to check my email. I click mail, and then this comes up, and I can't... I don't know what to do after that, so... Done? Okay, I don't know. Okay, so my friend Alana, she actually makes YouTube videos, and I'll put her link in the down bar so you guys can all check her out because she's so sweet and she makes the best videos. She's amazing. So she sent me this lovely package, like, surprise, like, out of the blue. She asked for my address, like, 
I don't know, like a month ago maybe, and I gave it to her because I was like, oh cool, she's going to send me a letter. But no, she was a little stinker and she bought me a whole, like, a package full of stuff that came like the day before, the day before Christmas, like the day before the day before Christmas. And like, so I had no time to send her anything. So, um, Alana, you're going to get like a New Year's present or something. But anyway, she sent me this and it's really cool. It's called a Smashbook and I don't know where she said it was from, I think it's from Anthropology. so if you guys are curious about that, but literally there are pages upon pages of these really cool things that I can write in. So it's kind of like a journal, but it's just like colorful pages, and like literally I'm going to be obsessed with this. It comes with a little pen, she has this little thing on here that says like, go to this link for inspiration, so I'm going to have to do that. And the surprises do not stop there. She got me this blush from Too Faced called La Vie en Rose, and I'm butchering that I know, so I'm going to show you so you guys can see it for yourself. But it's called La Vie en Rose, and it's from Too Faced. I love the polka dots in here too. Oh look, there's my camera. Haha, <laughs> there's me. Oh, there's my lens. Okay. It has a subtle little amount of sparkle, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a really great color. I actually wore it yesterday on Christmas and I love it. She also gave me this cute little card with these little reindeers on it. I think this is handmade and then a whole nice letter to me and it just touched my heart. Lastly, she gave me this ornament, which I actually have yet to put on my tree because I just haven't had time, so I think I might just hang it in my room somewhere, like above my bed. And it's just an H for Hello Kitty XO, and it's really cute. Um, I think this is also from Anthropology, she said in her letter. Thank you, Alana. You are amazing, girl. So the next little um, chunk of stuff was from a Secret Santa thing that my family did. We pull names. I think I talked about it in my vlog. If you guys want to know more about what my family does for Christmas, you guys can check out that vlog I did on Christmas Eve. I'll put the link somewhere, or you guys can just go back in my videos and check it out for yourself by my cousin Callie and she gave I think it was drawn I don't know how we did this whether she just gave it to me or something like that but uh, she gave me a bunch of lush stuff and I'm so happy because you guys know how much I love lush so she gave me this um, sugar babe sugar babe scrub here I'll focus it away from me I want to do this whoopsie sugar babe scrub get your body nice and wet then smooth your sugar scrub all over scrubbing harder on the rougher parts and rinse off that's what it says right there and it smells really good it smells like sugar. I mean, that probably makes sense, right? But it smells like sugar. I think it's a soap. Either that or it's a bath melt, because I just get them all mixed up. But it's pink. Not sure what it's called, but this whole set that she gave me, she gave it in like a nice box and it was wrapped up. You know the wrapped up boxes that Lush has? And it's from the um, Happy Hippie set. No, it has it. Does it? Does it have it? This is this, um... Wait, wait, wait. Does it say it on here? Oh, I think it's the Rockstar. Rockstar soap. I think that's that matches the description of this little guy right there. Lastly, she gave me this little lip scrub, which is called Bubblegum, and it's really cool. I usually hate the smell and the taste of bubblegum. Um, like, I mean, I don't like hate it. I'll eat it or uh, chew the gum or smell it sometimes, but like sometimes it can be really overpowering for me. So this one, I was really surprised at how much this smells delicious to me, but it looks like this. It's a sugar scrub, so you put it on your lips, or did I say sugar? I meant lip scrub. Um, and you scrub it on your lips and it gets all the dead skin off, so it's great for those who have chapped lips like myself. So this is great and it smells like bubble gum, which isn't too painfully hard for me to smell, so that's a great thing there. And yeah. Lush has the best stuff. I might do a little giveaway, so thumbs up this video if you want to see a Lush giveaway for all of you guys that are out of country or out of out of um, the area for Lush. So next, I'm just going to go right along with this. My friend Sophie gave me this nail polish, and it's from Sephora. Uh, Sephora by OPI, um, that little line. It's a top coat, and it's this glittery top coat, and I love glitter, like I love glitter. This girl loves glitter. And it's the Sparkle Sparktacular Top Coat. And if you guys can see, I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. This is what it looks like. And this is the coat. This is the top coat up close. And actually underneath this, this is only a top coat, so you have to use a color underneath it. I mean, I guess you could not if you don't want to, but I, I like it. I think you get best results when you use a color underneath it. So I use this. It's Essie's... Um, uh, cocktail bling if you saw my haul and I think it's a really great combination especially for New Year's because this is like the New Year's lights and then the you know subtle like wintry I don't know wintry atmosphere I don't know I have no idea what I'm trying to get out there and my foot is falling asleep and I used my China glaze no chip top coat over top of it so if you guys are curious about my nail combination that is what it is so thank you so much Sophie for giving me that lovely present and while I'm on the topic of my friends giving me presents my friends Lauren and Hannah we gave gag gifts to we kind of did a joint thing this year because like no one really wanted to spend oodles and noodles of money so I did a joint gift with two of my friends and we got my other two friends um, like, the three of us got two friends, two different things. We got them, um, like, scandalous underwear sets from Victoria's Secret. They are the most tomboyish girls I know, so it was really funny to see their expressions. I don't know if you guys remember my neighbor Carly, but she's, like, 
six, I think now, and she went and Lauren, Lauren, who we gave her, we gave her um, thongs, <laughs> they're really funny, they said like party time and unwrap me on them, so uh, Carly, the six-year-old, went into Lauren's room one day and saw them on the floor and thought they were eye patches, so <laughs> she put them on her, like one she put as a headband, the other one she put over her eye and she like ran downstairs and she's like, arg, and her mom, oh my god, it was so like funny hearing this story, I actually wasn't there to experience it unfortunately, but it sounded hilarious, so. Yes, I love gag gifts. So from my friend Abby, who I love so very much, hi Abby, um, I got this nice Starbucks like cup. It actually has like a winter insert in there, so if you guys see the little snowflakes and stuff, I can take this out if I don't want it, like throughout the other times of the year, but right now I think it's cute. It has a little snowman down there. Huge like water cup, or you could put your like drinks in there like that you get from Starbucks. You can just like write your name on there and like write down what you want. There's like a spot for that, like here, you can like check what you want and stuff. Um, or something like that, and you could just hand it to them, and they could put your drink in there, like, to save the planet, but I am using this to drink water, and you guys can see my water supply is dropped to below there, and I'm trying to drink, um, eight glasses of water a day, because I never do that, it's like 64 ounces or something like that, I forget. Shoot, you're supposed to drink eight eight ounce cups of water a day, and I don't do that. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. I might do a video on like my New Year's resolutions and my bucket list. You know, let me know if you want to see that, because I have some very interesting things on there, um, along with uh, playing the ukulele or learning how to play it. So that's going to be great. It's going to be a doozy. It just has a cool little Starbucks girl on there. I don't know. I think she's like a double tailed like mermaid or something. I've just been trying so hard to figure out what she is. So yesterday I actually drank four of these and I know it's bad to drink too much water but I don't think like four is too much water. Especially because I stayed up to like two o'clock in the morning so this is a great way for me to learn how to drink more water or not learn just like learn to drink more water because it's so cute and like it's stylish because it's like oh I'm drinking out of a Starbucks cup like I don't know it gives me a better incentive to drink more water. So I basically live at the map counter. Whenever I go shopping like I always go to the map counter especially on Saturdays, Thursdays, and Tuesdays because Courtney is there. And Courtney is my favorite Mac girl. My foot's asleep. Sorry, I'm like rocking the table. She always, you know, recommends me the best stuff. And then I recently found out that my mom actually knows her. Like, she knows her from, like, high school or something. Like, I think she dated my dad or something. So it's really cool to know that we're so, you know, close. She actually gives me, like, free samples all the time, and it's great. She helped me pick out this blush, and my mom put it in my stocking. Um, or Santa Claus put it in my stocking. Sorry, pardon my speech there. It's in Well Dressed, and I hear it's really great for all skin types, but especially pale skin. This is one of those blushes that you barely have to blend onto your face because it's just already so light that it's just a really great everyday blush. And I'm actually wearing it right now, so if you guys can tell, I mean, the light's kind of bright. This is what it looks like, and it's just a really pretty um, light pink, and it's kind of like sugar plummy almost, so it has a little bit of a purpley undertone to it, but it's gorgeous. Um, I use it today, and it's a powder blush, so it's not one of the cream ones. It's gorgeous. I heard about it from Mac Barbie 07 like 10 billion years ago, and I'm just so happy I finally got my hands on it. This is my jacket, which I got um, from my mom. I'm really excited about it because I just needed a nice, just multi-purpose, or not multi-purpose, like a really nice just jacket. And this one is from Marshalls, I think, because I think I picked it out. I've been told I look really good in this color, so that's why I picked it out. And it's also a really cool um, skiing jacket, like a shell to put underneath your big old chunky, chunky, hunky, chunky ski jacket. It's really fuzzy, like insole or like inside to it. And then the outside's like really waterproof, so like the rain, if I, if it's like raining outside, it'll like slide right off of there. I wouldn't recommend like rolling around the snow in this jacket, because it is kind of like more you know, more for show, I guess. But it's from the brand um, Black Diamond, Double Diamond, not Black Diamond, Double Diamond. If you guys are looking into getting this jacket, it's very true to size. My true to size, I mean that, like, if you're a small, you should get a small, and if you're a medium, you should get a medium. If you're a large, you should get a large, that kind of thing. Because it, I mean, it's a little bit baggy on its own, because I like to have my jackets, like, extra baggy. And this one just, like, came baggy, and it's a small, so I really like it. And it's, like, perfect. It's a perfect match for me, because it's kind of girly in its own boyish way. Ooh, I'm being called again. Hello? Hey. Yeah? You want McDonald's? Do I want McDonald's? Yeah. Um. It's probably gonna be dinner. Sure, I'll yeah. have, I'll have the three-piece chicken strips meal. Okay. Meal chicken with, meal. yeah, with the small fry and hold the lettuce. Wait, are you, do you hear me? Yeah, that's, we're coming home. Okay, so just three, three strips. Yeah, with a, um, lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, thanks. Oh, man, I usually hate getting McDonald's, but 
I'm just kind of craving it today. So, okay, that's my video. Hope you guys weren't too painfully bored with my haul. Um, I know it wasn't very pizzazzy, but I'd like to be more subtle in my way of presenting hauls to you guys. That's all I have to say today. Make sure you guys uh, don't hit your heads on the way out. Just kidding. Um, go subscribe to my vlog channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow me on Instagram. And that's all I have to say. So, happy Kwanzaa. Um, happy Hanukkah. Christmas, all the other holidays that people celebrate. Merry, happy, that too. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!